chain of command. The continuous line of authority that extend from upper levels of an organization to the lowest level of the organization clarifies who reports to whom. All business have employees working at different levels of responsibility. At the bottom, a business depends on its operative to produce the products or service. Team leaders often perform the day-to-day -day management role with operation manager setting a direction and strategy for the business as a whole. The number of employees to each level will depend on the business organization and structure. Middle managers are responsible for achieving the objectives set by the top managers by developing activities. They oversee the first line managers and make sure they are properly executing the activities they set out. And first line managers. First line manager in individuals who manage the work of non-managerial employees. First line managers in charge of supervising employees and coordinating their day-to-day -day activities. They need to make sure that the work done by their employees is consistent with the plans that the upper management set out of the company. Some of their duties include report to middle managers, supervise employees, organize activity, and involve it in day-to-day -day business operations. Some examples of a first-line manager include the following. Department head for man, office manager, section head, chef, boss, and supervisor. Finally, non-managers. Non-managers have a lesser degree of responsibility in workplace than their management counterparts, while non-managers are not absolved of successfully completing the function of their jobs. They typically don't do the following. Direct activities or business function, make decisions about other employees' workload or shuttling, have access to confidential or sensitive information in a company, make hiring or firing decisions, reprimand or evaluate others, and independently sign off on purchase requests, and more. While there is a frequently overlap or gray areas between managers and the non-managers, for the most part, Managers have a greater leadership role in organization, have a greater decision-making powers, and are held accountable for business missteps. As a result of this higher level rule, managers often have more experience and or education than non-managers and are accordingly paid higher salaries. And then you go to the end of the video and thank you for watching.